This is the town of Laredo and it's amazing. This is a fully functional, authentic cowboy town in the middle of the English countryside. I came here to make a video about Alec Baldwin, but the real story is this place. It's incredible. Outside of the USA, it's the only place like it in the world. This extraordinary town has been used to shoot movies and TV shows. It's been on Red Dwarf, French and Saunders. Elbow shot a video here. Johnny Depp was here shooting the Disney movie Finding Neverland. I thought it was a movie set. It's not. This is a passion project. It's a one of a kind. This place is a child's cowboy toy town made real. Look, you're gonna have to excuse me. Normally I do a ton of research and spend some time honing a script and planning a video, but this place blows me away. I'm kind of making this one up on the fly. And I've gotta be quick. I've almost no battery left on my camera. I wasn't expecting to make two videos to Day, but look at this place. These buildings aren't facades. They're as real as they possibly can be. The buildings are made with love and an attention to detail that is simply astonishing. Everything is authentic. You can put a date on it. This is the American West in 1865. The town has around 30 buildings, including a two-storey Silver Palace Hotel with a reception area, a fully stocked bar, a stage and six bedrooms. Along this street is a saloon, a sheriff's office, a working blacksmith's livery stables, a fully stocked general store, a gunsmith's, a Wells Fargo bank, a wet plate photographer's, a doctor's surgery, a dentist, a saddlery, an undertaker's, a a barber's, a tobacconist, and so much more. Walk into any of these buildings and you find someone in character working. It's complete with boardwalks, hitching rails, horse troughs, shop signage, all strung along an unmade old western style street. They have a stagecoach and a chuck wagon and lots of wind. <laughs> We're nearly done, darling. I'm running out of battery. There's no electricity here, darling. It's all as real as it possibly can be. Inside every building, the decor is period accurate. The lighting is by oil lamp and candle. There are wood burning stoves for cooking and heating. You can stay here and live like a cowboy in the Old West. There are log cabins with beds and log burning stoves. If you want a cup of coffee, there's no way to plug a kettle in. There's no gas, no electricity. You have to chop wood, light a fire, grind the coffee, boil some water, and do it the old fashioned way. My battery light is flashing and I've got nowhere to plug it in. This isn't a theme park. It's not a holiday camp. It's not a film studio. This is a club. They stage reenactments here. They do Wild West shows for the public, but that's not why it's here. Most days, it's a place for like-minded old Wild West cowboy enthusiasts to live out a frontier fantasy. And I love it. The people are passionate and welcoming and maybe the most enthusiastic enthusiasts I've ever met. They come here and stay the weekend. They build houses here. If there's filming going on, the club members work as extras. Everyone is dressed in period costumes and they look amazing. Back in 1971, a guy called John Truder and some of his mates started the Laredo Western Club. They liked horses and cowboys, so they built a corral and a hitching post and then a log cabin and then it grew into a town and it's still growing. The hotel took nine years to build and it's magnificent. It's used for club meetings, they have hoedowns, they have Christmas dinners here. Jolene got married here. It's a family, but it's not a business, it's a club. The money they make from photo shoots and TV is reinvested into the radio. They raise money for charity, they host a fair for local people every year. Kids come here to learn how people lived in the Old West. JT's daughter Jolene runs it now, and she's lovely. Everybody here is lovely. Oh, windy, 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 windy. It's, it's a wind tunnel, this place. 
It's the only thing that's wrong is the wind. Oh, and get this, guess how many members there are? 28, just 28 people built all this by hand. They're all mad and eccentric and passionate and wonderful, but what they've built here, what they're continuing to build here is brilliant. A Laredo. Am I saying Laredo wrong? <laughs> How do you say it? L-A-R-E-D-O. Laredo. Just Laredo is what they Laredo. Not Laredo. But it's <laughs> we are only 20 miles from London. You park your car and go west. When you walk onto the street of Laredo, when you walk onto the street of Laredo one day, you will see a cowboy and everything just slows down. It's like living in history. Normally I make vaguely legal videos, but it would have been a crime not to tell you about this place. I guess the bank gets robbed on a regular basis. I could do that. I might go and do it now. I nearly said goodbye, but cowboys don't say goodbye. They say, see you later, partner. Okay? What's that? What's what? Towns, I keep saying, how many times did I say cowboys?